We get asked questions all the time. What is my property worth because someone from a condemnor or a condemning agency wants to acquire an easement or part of the property for a detention pond, a roadway easement, or a sanitary sewer or overhead power line easement? The problem is too often property owners don't really understand the concept of damages in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Constitution under Article 2, Section 23 allows damages for property taken and for the uh, remaining injuries to the property not taken. Oftentimes property owners will negotiate the property actually taken, but they will fail to consider the special damages they may have for the remainder property. Special damages are an example would be when a property is split in two. We had a cattle rancher who had several hundred acres in western Oklahoma and the Department of Transportation split his property in two. On the north half of his property were water wells, corrals, etc., where he would uh, water his cattle and corral his cattle to ship them to market. But there was nothing on the south side of his property. Consequently, he had to create new corrals and drill a new water well. That cost tens of thousands of dollars and that was part of an element of severance damages that we had to consider. But some of his neighbors did not bother to get an attorney and were left high and dry. Another example is noise and pollution. When a highway is put through a property or it's increased from a two lane to a six lane road, which is called a parkway in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, there are EPA studies that now show that Elderly people and young children should not live within 500 feet of those because of the ambient air quality. Another issue that we've encountered for severance damages is having to put in special glass that screens out the noise. Air scrubbers uh, to purify the air from the additional hydrocarbons and particulates that come off of tires. These are the type of damages that most property owners have no idea or understanding how to articulate or argue with the condemnor. The condemnor oftentimes will have acquisition agents who are specialized in trying to get the property as quickly as possible and as cheaply as possible. In that, that is where a property owner is at his or her own peril if they don't seek the assistance of someone who knows how to negotiate this with a condemnor. My name is Stephen Gray. I'm with the law firm of Stephen P. Gray and Associates and we've handled eminent domain actions all over the state of Oklahoma. We've been involved in over a thousand proceedings either for the condemnor or the condemnee, which would be a property owner. We've handled cases from Delaware County on the Arkansas border all the way down to Cotton County near Wichita Falls, Texas. I would never seek to handle a surgery on myself if I had a serious medical condition. I would seek expert medical help. Likewise, if you're being confronted with a situation where you have a condemnor that wants to acquire some of your property in eminent domain, you need to seek the assistance of a specialist. We're here to help. The first consultation is free. It is very emotionally upsetting and nerve-wracking at times in dealing in condemnation. We understand that. Please give us a call. My name is Steve Gray. Thanks.